Hi, this is a Mini 6 speed 2009. The gear lever has gone a bit wonky. There's, there's nothing there left and right. It's just very floppy. If you push all the way to the left, like I've just done there, it'll only go in first and second. It won't find reverse. So what we're going to do is take the centre console out and have a quick look underneath. It's just three screws. One there, another one there, and one at the back where the cup holder is. The cup holder will lift out. Then you just lift the centre console up a little bit and just get a little screwdriver to pry the um, handbrake um, trim up. So we've got to just got little trims here, one there, one there, little clips. Then the whole thing will lift up and you'll be able to see what's going on underneath the gear lever. It's really bad, this is. Okay, we've had a quick look and we can't see anything wrong. All the cables are still connected. Um, so we're going to put it all back together now. And have a look at the gearbox end. Right, so when you pop your bonnet, you're going to have to remove the air filter. Then you'll be able to see the two cables going to the gearbox. And as we've done that, we've noticed this shiny bit of metal here. There should be a plastic U-clip on that, which lifts the bottom one up. This part here, if you can see my finger, that lifts up and down with the plastic clip. Um, so that's why this has gone all floppy. We did phone BMW up and they sent us a diagram of what we wanted. We told them it was part 18. I'll show you a quick diagram of what they sent me. I said we need part 18 and they came back and said, sorry, you've got to buy the whole thing, which is 150 quid. So we went to the scrapyard and they are, this is the little plastic clip that we need. Well, I just got back from the scrapyard now. Here's the part that we took off. Or it is is this little plastic bit so bmw don't sell these separately you've got to buy the whole thing as i said earlier which is just stupid really for like a little couple of quid part or whatever right so we did take two from the scrapyard because we thought well stick one in the glove box you never know if it happens again so that's what we've done okay here's the little circlip you've got to remove we've just got a little screwdriver and ping that off then you can just push it you should be able to push it so far and just slide on the new part and then push it back on. I'm obviously doing this one handed because I've got the camera in my hand as well. Um, I'll just show you, I'll try and show you what, what I did. Just have to move the gears around a little bit just to make a little bit of room. So you slide it on. Right, there you go, I've got it on there now. All you've got to do is just slide it onto the... Um, the lower part which lifts up and down so you just got to jiggle it around a little bit then push the whole mechanism back through then uh, pop your circlip on there and then you're pretty much done and i'm just trying to move up and down with one hand I have to put the camera down just to do it i think right as you can see it's on there now that's how it's meant to look and just put your circlip through there try not to drop it i should be uh, one of these i should be in trouble Okay, now the gears, as you can see, seem pretty back to normal. Not that I drive this car, but yeah, reverse is there, look, perfect. Job done. So yeah, so if you're at the scrapyard, grab one of those parts, even if you don't need it, because being plastic, I'm sure it'll break eventually. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped some of you out.